All right, long story short, we're going to fix this Battlefield 3 DirectX error. So what we're going to want to do is go to your Battlefield 3 folder, where you, wherever you downloaded it to in Origin, and you'll be able to see that uh, in your settings. It tells you your default program. Mine is D colon program files origin. So you're going to go into the Battlefield 3 file, and then you're going to go into DirectX. It should be right after you're in there, then redist. Next thing you're going to want to do is adjust by type and then take all of these .cab files. Uh, you can delete them, you can move, move them. I usually just cut them, make a new folder, and you know, name it whatever the hell you want. And then paste that in here. So you pretty much are just moving your file, your folder, you know, the seven folder. So it looks like this. So that DX setup, D setup, D the DIL and D setup 32, DL, uh, those are the only things left. So you're going to want to go back to the Battlefield 3 folder, and the next thing you want to do is take that DirectX folder, DirectX, and just move it into Installer. So that's now in here. Now let's try to install, and it should be easy sailing from here. <clears throat> so to recap, you're going to go to Battlefield 3 folder, double click DirectX, you're going to go into the DirectX folder, get rid of all the .cav files, delete them, move them, then you're going to take it and move it into the installer, and your Battlefield 3 will install just fine, and you'll see that it should start right up after a short loading period. So that should fix it. I'm going to uh, put the instructions in the uh, title of the YouTube video. And there you go. Battlefield 3 Limited Edition is now ready to play. Whereas before, it wouldn't even go. So I will see you guys the 25th. And I will shoot you in the face. Alright, so if you guys are having that problem, this should fix it for you. And good luck. Happy shooting.